students in the previous lecture we have seen some numericals on the uh, linear equations in one variable and in this lecture we are going to see 2.2 your sixth example then first you will read this question carefully then your sixth question is three conjugate to integers add up to 51 first you will see what are your three consecutive integers? Then your three consecutive integers are first is x, second is x plus 1 and third is x plus 2. And then you will write first we have the three consecutive integers are x comma x plus 1 comma x plus 2 x comma x plus 1 comma x plus 2 then they are add up then you will get 51 then you will write here they are add up to 51 they are add then you will get 50 then which they are add which numbers they are add x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 equal to what? 50. 1. They are add. Then you will get 50. 1. Then x plus x plus x is 3x plus 1 plus 2 is 3. Then equal to 50. 1. And therefore 3x equal to 51 minus 3. Then 3x equal to 11 minus 3 is 8. Then here 4. Then Therefore, x equal to 48 divided by 3. Then x equal to 8. 3 ones are 3. 3 6 are 18. Then x equal to what? 16. Then, your 3 consecutive integers are, then you will write here, 3 consecutive integers, integers are, First integer is equal to x. Then what is the value of x? x is 60. Then your second integer is second integer is x plus 1. Then you will get 16 plus 1 equal to what? 17. Then your third integer is Equal to x plus 2 equal to 16 plus 2 equal to what? 18. Means your answer is 16, 17 and 18. Means in this example your important point is what? The three consecutive integers are first is x, second is x plus 1 and the third is x plus 2. And they add up then you will write here equal to 51 means they are add. Add means what? They are added. Then x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 they are added then x plus x plus x then you will get 3x 1 plus 2 is 3 then equal to 51 and uh, this 3x will be present here then this 3 will be transferred in that side that is here plus 3 is taken then you will transfer here that is minus 3 then 3x equal to 48 then x equal to 48 by 3 then you will get the x value and you will put in x x plus 1 and x plus 2 then you will um, use the three values that is 16, 17 and 18. Then see the next example. Then Say one. The sum of three, the sum of three consecutive, consecutive multiples, multiples of eight is eight 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 find the multiples. Find the multiples. Your seventh question is what? The sum of three consecutive multiples of eight. Here sum of three consecutive multiples of eight. Then what are the three multiples of eight? One is x, second is x plus eight and third is the x plus sixteen. Then first we will write here we have 
then multi three consecutive multiples of then first multiple is first multiple equal to x second multiple is second multiple of x is x plus 8 and third multiple of x is third multiple of x is x plus 16 and they are add add means sum here sum is sum word is taken then you will add then they are sum of three consecutive multiples of 8 then it is 8 8 8 then you will write here they add then we get 8 8 8 then which three consecutives they are add that is x plus x plus 8 plus x plus 16 then equal to 8 8 8 then you will write here the next step x plus x plus x is 3x plus 8 plus 16 is what 24 equal to 8 8 8 and therefore 3x equal to 8 8 8 minus 24 because this plus 24 will be transferred in that side then you will write here minus 24 then you will get 3x equal to 8 minus 4 is what 4 8 minus 2 is what 6 8 then 3 3x equal to 8 6 4 then x equal to 8 6 4 divided by 3 3 x equal to 8 6 4 and x equal to 8 6 4 divided by 3. Then you will divide that is 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, then 2 is remainder, then 3 4, uh, sorry 3 8s are 24 and again 2 is remainder, then 3 8s are 24, then what is the value of x? x is 2 88 and the last answer you will write here. The first multiple the first multiple is x equal to 288 and second multiple second multiple is x plus 8 equal to 288 plus 8 that is 8 plus 8 is 16 then 1 then 9 then 2 that is 296 then your third multiple third multiple is x plus 16 then you will write here 288 plus 16 then they are add then you will get 8 plus 6 is 14 then 1 8 plus 1 is 9 then 1 10 then here 1 then 3 0 4 then your numbers are 288 second is 296 and the third is 3 0 4 this is your seventh example and see the eighth example is three consecutive integers three consecutive integers integers are such that are such that when they are taken in when they are taken in Taken in increasing order, increasing order and multiplied by and multiplied by 2, 3 and 4, 2, 3 and 4 respectively, respectively they add up to they add up to 74 and find the three numbers find the three numbers then find the three numbers 2, 3 and 4 then what is your question? Three consecutive integers. 
Then your three consecutive integers are first is x, second is x plus 1 and the third is x plus 2. Then first we will write here we have. See the question carefully. The three consecutive integers are x comma x plus 1 comma x plus 2. Then what is your question? Integers are such that when they are taken in increasing order and multiplied by then first in integer you will multiply by 2, second integer you will multiply by 3 and third integer you will multiply by 4. Then first integer increasing order and multiplied by 2. Then first integer you will multiply by 2 then you will get 2x. Means 2 into x is what? 2x. Then your second integer. Your second integer is what? x plus 1. And which number we will divide? 3. Then you will write here 3 into x plus 1. Because first number will multiply by 2, second number will multiply by 3, and your third number will multiply by 4. Then your third integer equal to 4 into x plus 2. Again you will see these are your consecutive numbers x, x plus 1 and x plus 2. And in your example your heading is what? They are multiplied by first number is 2, second number is 3 and third number is 4. Then this is your first integer then you will multiply by 2. This is your second integer then you will multiply by 3 and this is your Third integer, then you will multiply by 4. And they are add up, then you will get which value? 74. They are add up, then you will get 74 value. Then you will add, that is 2x plus 3 into x plus 1 plus 4 into x plus 2 equal to 74. 2x plus 3 into x plus 1 plus 4 into x plus 2. Then your next step is 2x is same. Then this 3 is multiplied by x that is 3x plus plus plus. Then this 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 plus this 4 multiplied by x is 4x and this 4 multiplied by 2 is plus 8 means 4 to the 8 then equal to what? 70. Then 2x plus 3x that is 5x. 5x plus 4x that is 9x. Plus 3 plus 8 is 11 equal to what? 74. And therefore 9x equal to 74 minus 11 because this plus 11 will be transferred in that side that is minus 11. Then 9x equal to 4 minus 1 is 3. 7 minus 1 is 6. Then x equal to 63 divided by 9. 9 7 are 63 then x equal to what? 7. Then your answer is x equal to 7. But find the three numbers. This is your first number. Then you will write here the last answer is first integer equal to x equal to 7. Your second integer equal to x plus 1 then equal to 7 plus 1 equal to 8. Then your third integer equal to x plus 2 equal to 7 plus 2 equal to what? 9 means your answer is 7, 8 and 9. Your answer is 7, 8 and 9. Then see the next example. Then you are ninth number example. The ages of Rahul and Harun. The ages of Rahul and Harun are in the ratio 
are in the ratio 5h to 7 4 years later 4 years later 4 years later the sum the sum of the ages the sum of the ages will be will be 56 years will be 56 years will be 56 years what are the present ages what are the present ages what are the present ages then first you will read the example carefully the ages of rahul and harun are the ratio are in the ratio 5 has to 7 are in the ratio 5 has to 7 then you will write here first we have present age of rahul equal to what 5 x because 5 has to 7 the ratio is taken then first is 5 then rahul age is 5 x then the second is present H of Varun equal to 7 x because second number is 7 then you will write here 7 x then 4 years later 4 years later means 4 years ke baad means 4 years after then you will write here 4 years later then the H of Rahul equal to 5x plus 4. And second is the age of Harun equal to 7x plus 4. Because after 4 years, then you will add here 4. Means 5x plus 4 and 7x plus 4. And your next sentence is what? 4 years later, the sum of the ages will be 56 years. They are added, then you will get 56 years. Sum of the ages, sum of the ages will be 56 years. Sum of the ages means which ages? First is the 5x plus 4 and add 7x plus 4 means this. Two ages are added. That is 5x plus 4 plus 7x plus 4. And you will get 56. Because the sum of the ages will be 56 years. Therefore, 5x plus 7x. That is 12x plus 4 plus 4. That is 8. Equal to what? 56. Therefore, 12x equal to 56 minus 8. Because this plus 8 will be transferring that side. That is minus 8 and therefore 12x equal to 16 minus 8 is 8 and here 4 then x equal to 48 divided by 12 that is 12 ones are 12 12 fours are 48 then x equal to what 4 x equal to what 4 then your question is what what are the present ages then last answer you will write present age of Rahul equal to 5x then you will write here 5 into 4 that is you will get 20 years you will get 20 years and the second is present age of Harun equal to 7x equal to 7 into 4 then you will get 78 sorry 28 years you will get 28 Years that is 7 for the 28, then you will get what is your answer? 20 years and 28 years. This is your answer. Then see the next example.
Then your tenth example is the number of boys. The number of boys and girls in a class in a class are in the ratio are in the ratio 7 has to 5 the number of boys the number of boys is 8 more than is 8 more than the number of girls the number of girls what is the what is the total class strength what is the total class strength then see the question carefully the number of boys and girls in a class are in the ratio 7 has to 5 means here boys and girls is present then you will write your first sentence is we have then first sentence you are your uh, number of boys equal to what 7x because 7h to 5 ratio is taken here then number of boys is 7x and number of girls is 5x number of girls is what 5 x this is your first sentence then your second sentence is what the number of boys is 8 more than the number of girls again you will write here the number of boys is 8 more than the number of girls more than the number of girls. Here, what is your uh, sentence? The number of boys is 8 more than the number of girls. Then first, you will convert into your own language. Means, your, uh, means its meaning is what? The number of boys. Boys ki jo sankhya hai. Wo jo number of girls se usse kitne se jada hai? 8 se jada hai. Then you will write which type? The number of boys. The number of boys means uh, here 7x ratio is taken equal to is 8 more than the number of girls. Girls you will add here 8 because here more word is present then you will add. Here less word is present then you will subtract but here more word is present then you will add here 8. The number of boys that is 7x equal to 8 more than the number of girls. The number of girls is 5x. 8 more than that is plus 8. Then this 7x, this 5x will be transferred in that side. That is minus 5x equal to 8. Then 7x minus 5x that is 2x equal to what? 8. Then x equal to 8 divided by 2. Then 2 fours are 8. Then x equal to what? 4. Then x equal to what? 4. Then what is your question? What is the total class strength? What is the total class strength? Then you will write here first number of boys equal to 7x that is 7 into 4 then you will get 28 and here number of girls then you will write here 5x then 5 into 4 then you will get 40. Then total class strength and here pure jo class ki sankhya hai wo kitni hai. Then you will write the last answer is total class strength equal to 28 plus sorry 5 fours are 20 sorry yeah. 5 fours are 20. Then 28 plus 20 then you will get 48 means your total class strength is what 48. Your total class strength is what? 48 and this is your final answer and this is your final answer and at the rest you will see in the next lecture.